How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Hillside Gaming. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, guys, you're in for a treat. This is going to be a video. We're going to be talking about the souvenir uh, packages and whether I am investing in those or not. If I am, which ones and why? And we're also going to talk about a side topic, um, which is the viewer pass and then the viewer pass with tokens. Okay. Uh, and if that excites you, and if you like to hear really amazing things about all of these wonderful items, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. And while you're at it, hit the like button too, if you don't mind. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, let's get right into it. Because I'm already logged into CSGO, we're going to talk about the viewer pass and tokens first, and then the souvenir package. Okay. So pretty much we have these, and this is the, the, the viewer pass. And then you have a viewer pass that gives you three um you know um souvenir package redeemable tokens okay um now in the past people have bought these these viewer passes and this was all all we have for quite some time uh for many years and you know the only time you know you would buy this of course activate it and then you could you know you could do your your pickums and then try to get a gold coin or a diamond coin or a silver or whatever coin that you that you wanted from the operation and those coins just so that you know what i'm, what I'm talking about is a coin like this right here okay this is this is this is the one from paris 2023 and i got a gold coin you you can get up to diamond on in this in this major like like an example of that would be i have a diamond um operation hydra coin okay so uh but i did not get diamond over here i only got gold but still you can get like you know bronze silver gold and then diamond on on the paris major but anyways you, you still get a coin saying that you that you were here for this and that you took you know you, you took um participation you know uh in the pickums or whatever so forth and so forth but pretty much after the major is over then buying these passes you know you can't do anything except for get a bronze coin so uh let's say that a year from now you know someone that just got into csgo says you know i would really like to have a bronze coin of every major even though I wasn't there for that, just to have it for my profile, you know, as a collectible or or whatever the reason may be, uh, then they can actually buy the like the Paris, um, you know, viewer pass a year from now. Now they can't do anything with it except for they can redeem it, and you'll get a bronze Paris coin. That's it. This is something for your profile, you know, and that's it. And then other people, they they have you know they have bought these viewer viewer passes in the past. And, and they've saved them just as purely as a collectible item. Just, you know, something from Paris, you know. Um, I think you're better off with Team Sticker Capsules because that also says, hey, I was there. And that's also collectible, but it goes up in higher value, in my opinion. But anyways, but now you also have, you know, in the past, I don't know, three or four majors or whatever. Uh, you can also buy the Viewer Pass and get three souvenir tokens, right? Now, what people have been doing recently is now, first of all, once again, if you buy this now and then, you know, six months from now, there is no major, right? And there is no major. And you happen to to redeem this at that point. All you get once again, I believe, is just your your bronze coin. That's it. But in the past, like three or four majors, at least what people have been doing is um, they'll buy like, you know, every major, you know, they'll buy a, a few of the extra of the viewer pass with three tokens here. And then when that new major comes out, if a, um, a souvenir package, if a map got taken out of rotation, like dust two did, um, then they could take like the previous, um, you know, um, major, uh, pass with three tokens and they could redeem those three tokens during the next major it has to be during the next major. And you can redeem that then, and then you you would actually get three souvenir tokens, and you could pick the previous year's um, souvenir package that is this year out of rotation, like Dust Two was, and then you could have you know, access to um, to you know three Dust Two packages that you could sell for profit, right? So it's you know it's a lot of um, you know it, it, it's something that people have have done and they have made plenty of profit with it but that is the two passes that that you can buy um i have a question and i don't know the answer to it okay but i'm going to propose this question to you in the past at least for the past three or four majors right um these 
you know, this pass right here, you have been able to do what I just mentioned with. Um, you have been able to do that. You know, I thought Valve would, would fix it. Valve never did fix it. You, you know, and they just kept on allowing this to happen. Now, being that this is Paris was the last major of CSGO, I'm wondering, I mean, I'm just wondering, you know, the people that like to buy five or 10 of these or whatever to, to get these souvenir packages or more, right? Just in case, oh, you know, what if Mirage, for instance, happens to get taken out of rotation for the next major in 2024, right? What if Mirage is gone? Oh, gee, whenever the next, you know, major happens, I can take my Paris pass and get these three uh, souvenir tokens and I can, re I can redeem three Mirage, you know, um, souvenir packs and I can make some money because I only paid, you know, 17 uh, or $18 for this thing, you know, and at that point, I'm going to guess, you know, that the Mirage packages would be worth at least 12 to $14 a piece. So you would have, you know, uh, some good profits to be made, right? Well, I propose this and here is my question. Well, yeah, that has worked up until this point, but what about CS, the new CS2, right? Is Valve, because it is a brand new game. It is a brand new game, even though they're making most things compatible, all the scans are, you know, transferable, you know, everything is, you know, all your, you know, sticker capsules, all, all the things, you know, that they, you, you can buy now and that you can have in CSGO, they will allow you to have in, in the new CS, of course, right? But, will they allow you to redeem these souvenir tokens on the next major from the CS Go version of their game over to the new CS2. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean most things, you know, I'm sure that you'll be able to have the viewer pass with three tokens in your inventory slot. Yes. That's not the question. But the question is will Val fix it for the new CS2? And whenever that releases, if people have a, have stockpiled these and they try to activate these three coins during the next major, will Valve give it to you? Because it is a brand new game, so they could stop it at that point. It is a, it is a you know it, it's it's something to think about, right? Um, now look, could I be thinking too much into it? Yeah, maybe. I mean, possibly. You know, I I don't know. That that's why I'm I'm proposing the question to you guys. But it, it leaves enough um, doubt in my mind to where, honestly, I'm not going to be buying any of these. Um, I, I did consider, I did consider buying one, one of these and just holding it just because. Because just if that happens and if it happened to work, then I could make some profits and then I would probably look back and go, gee, I should have bought 10, you know. Uh, you know, but the thing is, you know, who knows? First of all, who knows what map is going to come out of rotation? You don't know for sure. I mean, no one knows for sure. You know, we can all guesstimate, right? We can all, you know, um, you know, propose that, hey, yeah, we, I'm, Mirage is probably going to come out, you know, or Overpass possibly, right? It's a possibility. But I mean, you know, do, you know, but anyways, this, so, so point being, um, I just, I really thought kind of, you know, hard and heavy about it, you know, and should I buy about 10 of these or maybe five or 10 of these and, you know, and then I could, you know, um, have those. But if it, you know, if they don't take anything out, if they don't really change anything, then this is going to go up really very, very slow in price, right? And then I'll be re regretting, you know, that I've spent that kind of money on these whenever I could have bought um, team sticker capsules, right? So anyways, yeah, I mean, so, you know, is the new CS2 going to allow us to once again use these three souvenir tokens to purchase passes from Paris in the new major in 2024? I don't know. But once again, because of that, I'm only going to buy like, like one of these just because, just for the kicks of it, really, and really no more. I don't want to risk it. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much everything on here. Um... Yeah, I mean, I haven't really um, purchased anything as far as my investments go on this account. Um, I will show you. Um, I, I'm trying to be transparent, you know, with you guys. Honestly, I haven't really gotten anything um, spectacular on this account um, since the last time that, that I showed you all um, all the stuff here. So, yeah, nothing real, real major um, has changed here. Okay. Um, except for maybe I've, I've added a couple of pain gaming hollows. And that's, I think, the only thing that wasn't here last time that I actually showed this to you guys so that you guys know what all I am investing in. This is, once again, just, you know, one account. But 
regardless. So that's the only things that have really changed. But anyways, so that is the um, the viewer pass and the viewer pass with tokens. That is my thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, and that that that's really pretty much it on that. So let's go ahead and scoot this over to the screen here, if I can uh, scoot it over to the screen. And let's go ahead and and look at this page. Okay. What I would what I would like to show you is um, this. We have um, yeah, you know, CSROI. This is a great site. This to go look at and and, and to look at ROIs. But more importantly, um, you know, it, it'll show you like the ROI on different items. You know, of course, you know your 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 average. I think is what sixty percent ROI on some of the really good items. But anyways, that's not why I'm wanting to show show this to you. This is a list of the souvenir packages uh, from Paris. Okay. This is a list of the souvenir packages from Paris right here. So here is the first one, right? Here is your um, your Paris, you know, Vertigo package right here. And it's currently selling for $2.99. But, you know, you can see the, the peaks from different different ones right now. Um, market value, okay, the Steam market value. You, you can see the different values of these. And, you know, was it a good idea to invest? And how long did you have to kind of hold? And... You know, and, and what's my ROI long term? You know, so pretty much, you know, you whenever the you know whenever the major is happening, and, and you can buy all the souvenir packages that, that you want to, you you can buy them for around two seventy five with a buy order on the Steam Market, and then you know you know normally you think okay maybe a year from now you know they're five six dollars a piece, and then you know you wait for a few more years, or you really what you're waiting for is. I'm waiting for a map to go out of rotation, and now that souvenir package to be you know to be you know. Uh, put on the back burner and now that souvenir package is going to go up in value that's what you're really really waiting for right so but you can you can you can see what the the investments you know um roi has been on this package just from the past four majors right so um you know once again you know this is like i mean at best like you know, what 2x or a little over 2x um I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I mean, I, there's a lot of people that buy souvenir packages because ultimately, if you hold long enough, you're going to make profit regardless. But, you know, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing here in a minute. I'm just trying to go over everything with you first, right? So here is your Mirage package. Um, one of the most popular packages, um, honestly, because it has, uh, you know, some really, really you know, good skins in it, which I will show here in a moment. But, um, you know, once again, you know, you can see what they're going for back from Rio, Antwerp, Stockholm, and now Paris. I mean, they haven't really gone up a lot. I mean, you know, you look at Antwerp, um, I mean, or Ant Antwerp, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's still under five bucks. I mean, you know, and you bought it for what, two seventy five maybe, or three dollars, you know, if you bought a Steam market value just right off the market and you didn't even use a buy order. So, I mean, there's not a lot of profit there yet, right? Now, once again, Mirage is still in rotation. So, you know, and then here's Ancient and uh, the Ancient Collection. You know, once again, you know, here's the past four majors and the prices of each of these. I mean, that one's barely, Rio's barely even in, in the profit after, after Steam, uh, you know, fees, right? So, um, and it's just pretty much Stockholm as well. And Antwerp is just a little bit higher, but not much. So, you know, what are you going to expect from Paris? I mean, you know, you're going to expect to hold these things for a couple of years and or, once again, waiting for a map um, you know, like ancient to be removed or, or whatever to be removed, right? Um, now we have a new one. Uh, we have Anubis, okay? We have Anubis uh, um, souvenir package and we've only had it in one major and that's this major, Paris. So of course the price is just 292 and then of course we do have the one in store uh, that, that you can buy that's not souvenir. It's, well, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just a it's a souvenir package, but it's just a, you can buy all that you want to in the store, but it's it's not a souvenir, is it? It's just a, it's just a uh, an Anubis package. Yeah, it doesn't have souvenir stickers on it. But anyways, um, then we have Inferno Collection. Now Inferno has been out for a long time, right? And now you can see that some of these have actually prospered quite well. But once again, you have to go back multiple years. I'm talking, you know, four, five, six years. Okay, uh, we're four or five years. You know, like. Shadow 2019, you know, London 2018. Yeah, and now those, they, they've actually done quite well. You know, they have three and four X, right? Well, roughly, uh, after Steam fees, maybe a little less, but 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 you get my drift. But, you know, anything from the past couple of years, you know, back from 2021, you know, you're still looking at not a lot of profit on those. So, you know, once again, there's that. 
Here is the Overpass Collection. Now, this has been out forever. The Overpass Collection has been out forever and ever and ever. And you can go back and look at these and look catalog of 2019. You know, that's $15 now. You know, London is, you know, $24. You know, Boston, $31. I mean, there's there's been some, you know, there's been some pretty good, you know, um, profit to be made on, on holding this long term. But it's taken a while and the profits still aren't as great as Team Sticker Capsules, really. Um, you know, I mean, holly bum, you know, like, like Atlantis, um, you know, team sticker capsules. I mean, holy crap. They're, they're, they're so much better profits, you know, according to what you had to spend anyways. So there's that. Now we have Nuke and Nuke is the last one that was in Paris here. And of course you, you can go back and look at, at, at Nuke here. And, um, yeah, you know, and you look at back at Caddo 2019, London 2018. Yeah, you've done some pretty good, some pretty good profit taking there. Berlin, even 2019, uh, it's up to $12, right? So, uh, after steam fees, I don't know, you know, like $11, 1085, something like that, somewhere in that area. I don't know, but 1070, uh, I don't know. Uh, sue me for the not having the exact numbers, but, <laughs> but point being, so you kind of see all these. I mean, pretty much what everyone is doing is they're waiting for something like this to happen right they're waiting for like dust 2 collection got taken out and then of course you know your dust 2 package from antwerp is you know went up to, it went higher than this but now it's like 12 dollars 83 cents right so it had some great uh borderless stickers on it um you know and and it got taken out and and now the souvenir packages rose i think they went up to 14 or 15 dollars at, at one point in time um, but yeah, I mean, you know, there was some good profit, you know, taking for those that, that had bought, bought in early, right? But, but they had to wait for a map to get taken out now. So a lot of people are speculating right now that, um, you know, and here's your viewer passes, by the way, and you can, well, anyway, oh, let's go on to this. So a lot of people are speculating that there's a map or maybe two maps that are going to get new um new collections okay some people are saying hey man they might take out mirage you know they may take out the mirage package okay and if they take out the mirage package then you know they're speculating that the mirage um you know from paris will go up to you know like your dust two prices kind of 12 to 14 to 15 dollars right um there you know some people are also speculating that um you know there's a possibility that because they they redone overpass and overpass is the only map that got the full you know the full package right the full valve remake right so um you know overpass got a big big remake and it was the biggest remake out of all the maps um that they have mentioned so far at least okay and some people are saying that overpass may get a new collection and if that happens they're also saying hey you know what then if that happens a, a new collection then this from this Paris 2023 overpass souvenir package will go up in value probably probably you know shoot up to 12 to 15 dollars right that's there's you know that's what they're thinking at least right and you know I I also think that it's possible that they may even you know possibly change another one of these okay um you know possibly you know and look I know that some of these have already gotten remakes um like nuke you know, um, and, and this and that, but I, I am going to speculate, which is just pretty much saying I'm guessing, right. That they could possibly, um, add a new package for something else. And if they do that, you know, then, then maybe having some of those, you know, in storage, you know, would be a worthwhile investment. But I also propose this to you. What if they don't do any of these? What if Mirage stays? What if Overpass, you know, doesn't get a new collection? And what if they don't do anything with any of these and the next major they have all the same maps and yeah well what happens then well i mean whatever money that that you spent on whatever packages that you bought if you bought any you're just you know you're gonna have to wait for another time for whenever they do eventually take out a map or add a new collection right so because of that being said right all of that being said i i i'm i'm not buying a lot okay i am i am going to hypothesize that um mirage is maybe the most likely map if anything is going to get taken out mirage has been there forever 
it is most likely either to get taken out and or to get maybe a new collection. I don't know. Probably get taken out. But it's it's really, really popular. But so was look, so was Cobblestone. And they took it out. I mean, it was popular with the Dragon Lord and everything else. I mean, so, you know, I don't know. You know, I I, I don't know, guys. I'm, I I don't really know. But I'll I'll, I'll tell you this much. I did buy, um, I did buy um, eighty um, Mirage souvenir packages from um, from the uh, uh, can't even talk straight from Paris. Okay, I did buy uh, eighty of these, and my goal is to get another twenty, which will put me at one hundred. I have not got those other twenty yet. Okay, but I do intend on having a total of 100 Mirage Souvenir Packages. And I, I, I honestly intend on setting on them for a couple of years because, you know, I don't want to, to anticipate, you know, oh, yeah, you know, get, get all hyped up for, hey, you know, what if, you know, what if this happens? And I'm pretty sure it will. And, oh, boy, the profits are going to start rolling in. This is going to be so exciting. No, 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 no. I'm just going to buy them, set on them, and I'm not going to worry for now and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna consider myself a long-term investment into these packages and i'm gonna think you know hey a couple of years you know maybe maybe i'll see a nice return and maybe in a, in a couple of years at least you know mirage will get a new package uh or they'll get they'll take the map out either e either which way uh this will go up in value and then you know what whenever the time comes i'll sell but i'm not thinking about fast returns you know um quick investment you know um, you know, this is pretty much a very long-term investment to me, and and what I'm putting into these, that's that's what I'm considering it as. So yes, I am buying uh, a total of 100 of these, which I have most of those already. Now, having said that, overpass collection. Okay, let me see if I can find the overpass collection uh, easily here. I don't even know if you can see the the thing here, but um, I haven't even looked to be to be really honest with you. Yeah, I haven't even actually looked at this and see if it will let me. Yeah, I think it will. Okay, yeah, it will. Okay, so look, I mean, overpass collection. I mean, you know, the best thing you can really get in here is, you know, is your 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 uh, your M4A1S masterpiece, right? I mean, it's it's just a pink. It's not even a red, right? Um, now look, you know, you have your op, uh, op pink DD Pat, and uh, there is some there is some pretty cool ones out there. Um, and you even have the road rash, right? Which are purple. So look, there is there are some nice skins to get from this this collection, but there's a lot of really bad skins in here. And this collection does need a nice revamp, right? And I don't know, they did do a full revamp of Overpass, which as of so far is the only map that they have already verified. They've done a full rework on. And so, yeah, is it possible that Overpass gets, you know, a new revamped collection? Uh, I mean, the odds are there. I, I think so, you know, but that's just, who knows, right? I, I don't know. So, but yeah, uh, I'm going to buy 25 of these. Not many, but I am going to buy 25 because I want to have some. And they're expensive. I mean, honestly, for $3 a piece, um... You know, right now, what is what is Paris? Yeah, I mean, they're two ninety nine. So with buy order, honestly, really, I mean, if you're using Steam Market, I'm not talking about Buff or, or a third party. I'm just talking about Steam Market. You know, if you're gonna take, um, you know, two ninety nine, you might be able to buy, buy order of these for two eighty eight, maybe, I mean, maybe two eighty eight and buy twenty five. But I mean, really, still, I mean, after Steam taxes, you're still over three dollars a piece. So you know, let's just let's just for ease of math, say three dollars a piece even though it's probably going to be a little bit more than that, right? I mean, $3 a piece times 25, I mean, you know, you, I mean that's that's quite a bit of money. I mean, that's that's like 500 team sticker capsules. I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's 500 of the team sticker capsules, which, you know, that's I mean, there's potentially much more profit to be made on the team sticker capsules um if you if you ask me. So, I'm going to buy some I don't normally buy souvenir packages. I don't. But in this particular major, under these particular circumstances, because this is the last uh, CSGO major, I'm going to do it anyways, despite, you know, um, really thinking I should put my money into just Steam up, <laughs> into Team Sticker Capsules. That's where I really believe the bulk of my money should be spent. But, you know, 
I'm 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 going out on, on a limb. Call it a small a small gamble, a, a small risk, because um, it's not really a big risk. Because eventually they'll 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 make their money. I mean, eventually, you know, one day down the road they're gonna make their money regardless. I just might have to wait for a couple of years, right? So either way it goes, I'm not gonna lose money. I'm not gonna panic sell them if the prices go down or something doesn't go my way. And oh gee, the map's still in there and all the. You know, I'm not going to panic, so I'm just going to put them in a crate and forget about them until they're profitable. That's just the way it goes, right? That's that's what we do, right? So, yeah, um, I mean, that's that's pretty much that. Um, I mean, I'm so really and truly, guys, what I'm doing is souvenir package wise, uh, I'm buying heavily, well, heavily for me on a gamble, on a whim, when I really want to put most of my money into team sticker capsules, okay, which is really, really where I want to put my money. Um, it's where I want to put the bulk of my money because <laughs> I really believe that they're going to do well uh, long term and they're going to make much more um, uh, a much better ROI on those than than I could using these. Because I mean, even if these 4x, even if Mirage package 4x is and that's twelve dollars, all that these Paris capsules have to do is 4x. And if I had five hundred of them, I mean. It's just so much, e I don't know, it's just so much easier. I mean, you know, um, the odds are in my favor that the team sticker capsules are going to 4X before um, one of these will. But, you know, who knows? I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I haven't invested in many of these souvenir packages in the past. So I'm just giving you my opinion, my thoughts, my speculations. Take it with a grain of, you know, of salt, guys, honestly. But nevertheless... Um, the viewer passes and viewer pass and viewer pass with tokens. Either one, I'm only going to buy one that has the three tokens in it. I'm only going to buy one just in case. That's it and no more. Not buying any other souvenir packages except for um, 100 Mirage and 25 over Overpass, and that is it. Okay. And if you want to see um, a video that I did, by the way, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, why don't you go hit that button right there? It says subscribe. I'm really trying to get up to a thousand subs um, sub subscribers. I'm only at 893. So if you guys could help me hit that subscribe button, I, I would really appreciate it. But here is my channel. Of course, I don't subscribe to my own channel. I'm not going to do that. That's that, that's cheating. But um if you want to see, I think, um, all of the souvenir packages that I currently have and the video where I show where they're at, that is going to be in this video, the Paris Legends capsule and stickers, my thoughts and, and extra stuff. Um, if you if you go to this video right here and you skip to, I don't know, I think it's like 34 minutes or whatever. Yeah, 30, 34 and a half minutes or whatever, like right here, I think. Yeah. This is where I show a different account that I've got, and it shows all of my Mirage um, souvenir packages. Okay, it shows all of all of those as the investment right there. So that that will show you. You, you can go back and look at that if you like, and uh, that is in this video right here. But um, anyways, so but yeah, hey guys, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well on this video. But anyways. So yeah, that that's pretty much what I'm doing, guys. That's my thoughts. I mean, I you know, um, you know there. <sighs> There is always profit to be made somehow, some way. The question is always, which way do you think that you can make more profits faster and easier? And what's there's no there's no guarantees ever, right? There's never a guarantee. But which one, you know, could you possibly do better from, you know? In your own mind uh, and and the odds are, are greatly skewed in your favor and so far it's always been the team sticker capsules right um it's always been those right i mean you know um look foils you know uh hollows glitters they're great golds they're they're great um you know the viewer passes you you can make money with these um you can you know but you know once again you know who knows about these three tokens and, and the new and Val's new game? Because it is a brand new game, even though it to us appears to be very similar to CSGO. It is a brand new game. So could these tokens not work in that brand new game? I don't know, right? So, you know, uh, take that in, into your, your consideration. Um, but yeah, you know, for me, guys, I'm not buying anything, you know, except what I've already told you and for the reasons that I've already I've already talked about. But, anyways, I look. I hope that you have found some value 
in this information. I hope that it's helped you. I hope that it, if anything else, that it's just gotten you to think a little bit about what you're investing in and why you're investing in it. You know, um, it's easy to get kind of sucked into that hype train. You know, all the different YouTubers out there are talking this and talking that and hyping this and hyping that. And, you know, you got you to sit back and think sometimes to yourself, you know, why am I investing my hard earned money into this particular item? Why? Is there a just reason? Am I just going off of pure hype from other YouTubers or am I making an educated decision of my own? That needs to be on the top of your priority. Okay, whatever that you're that, that you're investing in. Okay. And, you know, I, I mean, you know, there's always, you know, what if, what if, what if, right? But I mean, you know, the, you got to kind of look at, you know, what's what's more important, you know, that I mean, honestly, I I think personally that the team sticker capsules, um, you know, there is profit to be made on those. I think probably, you know, for me, for my investments, my thoughts are at least, you know, I'm going to see at least, you know, eh, a f I don't know. I, I, I don't want to give odds, but I, I can definitely see profit before the next major on these capsules, right? Um, I could be wrong. That could not happen. It's very unlikely. But because this is the most invested in major out there, you know, and but there's a lot of hype and a lot of demand, a lot of great stickers and, and you know, a lot of teams that we may not see again, um, you know, or may or may not, you know, who knows. But, um, you know, but hey, you know, I, I don't know, man, you know, you just have to, I'm, I'm going to bank on, you know, over half of my investment is team sticker capsules. Um, I would say 40% is going to be team stickers, mostly hollows. And then the other is going to be some souvenir packages and then, you know, a couple of little odds and ends. That is, that's my investments. So, and I've showed that through the past three or four videos now. I have actually showed you those different things and I've told you um, of those things as well. So that's what I'm doing. Um, does that mean that, that that's the right thing for you to do? I mean, look, we all got to make our own decisions, right? But that's what I'm doing. So if the, if, if this helps you, if, if it gets you thinking... Um, if it puts things into a different perspective for you, then great. I have done my job. You know, um, you know, if you want to gamble, you know, you know, if your if your risk tolerance is, is 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 high and you're willing to gamble, man, then by all means, have fun with it, man. That's that's at the end of the day, that's that's half that's half the fun for me is, you know, sometimes you know, guessing and trying to decide on what I think will do good and what won't, right? Because you know, even if you're to buy team sticker capsules. Um, you know, if you buy the wrong one, um, <laughs> you know, you, you might still lose. I mean, it's possible, you know, who knows? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, if you buy all of these, I mean, gee whiz, you know, you might, you might lose some money. You know, if you, if, if you go all in on, on these champion, uh, champion autograph capsules, then you, know, you might, you might lose some, some money. You might win some money. Who knows? I don't know, man, but you know, you all know what I'm doing. So. I hope this has helped you. Anyways, I'm done. I'm going to quit rambling on now and go ahead and get this video editing, edited, edited, and uploaded so that you all can, can check it out. Um, yeah, guys. Hey, once again, leave a nice comment down below if you have any questions. If you have any content that you would like for me to cover that I have not yet covered, please leave it in the comment section. I will, I will, uh, I will respond, okay? And I will consider making a video for you, so... But yeah, um, I will have another video coming out probably in three or four days from now. Three or four days. Um, it'll be out. And um, I think that might be the last video on Paris that I that I talk about. If not, I might do an update video uh, a few a few weeks later on, maybe. I might do a, uh, my investments you know, update. Uh, I might do something like that maybe a few weeks on. But after the next, after this video and the next video which is pretty much a summary video, which is going to be a really, really interesting video, I think. Um, after that comes, um, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm like rubbing my hands together here. Can you hear this on, on the mic? No, you probably can't hear it. But anyways, I'm rubbing my hands together. It is going to be my uh, my continuation of the, the rare um, skin and pattern um, 
uh, you know, skins videos. It, it's going to be really, really fun. Um, I cannot wait to share it with you guys, man. It's 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 going to be fantastic. But anyways, guys, I uh, I hope you have a great day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And uh, yeah, you know what? We have a sale going on right now. If you don't, uh, if you have some money laying around. You might just want to go uh, invest and have some fun before the time is uh, out. You know, we, we probably have some, some some time. I'm just saying, if you haven't yet invested, you know, you might want to start putting together a list of things that you want to buy and start, you know, putting in your buy orders or whatever else. But all right, guys, take care of yourself. I will talk to you next video. Until then, have a good one and peace.